guys, it's Friday, May 15th. You know what today is? Can you remotely guess what today is? There's a car honking right now. Turn off your alarm, I'm doing a vlog. Now I hear Simba panting. Oh, he stopped. Today is 100 videos of the five awesome optimists. 100 times you guys have had your day hopefully brightened and enlightened a little bit more. So yay for the five awesome optimists and yay for 100 videos and yay to you for coming back here and supporting this channel and supporting all of the bloggers on this channel. Thanks to the guest bloggers and thanks to Mr. Hollick most importantly because he's the one that gets all of our video files and uploads them to YouTube. I know that's probably very time consuming and he does that six times a week. So thank you, Mr. Hollick, for making it possible for us to spread optimism and positivity to the YouTube community. So the topic I want to talk about today is a continuation of my Shawshank Redemption blog a couple weeks ago. And JDA Film, I always, I'm really bad at remembering people's screen names. Yes, JDA Film who has an awesome YouTube channel, very positive guy, love his tweets, he's very supportive, and I'll put his links in the description field. So go ahead and follow him on Twitter and um, subscribe to him on YouTube. Anyways, JDA Film mentioned that the guy in Shawshank Redemption, he was suffering, but that he eventually got out. And I want to talk today about how he got out because that is important that's an important part of the fact that he got out there was a practicality to it he planned an escape an elaborate escape and so yes it took persistence yes it took vision yes it took positivity and believing that that could actually happen but it also took a really well laid out plan now some of his plan is like okay this is a hollywood movie but whatever i don't care you have to have a good plan. So if you're in that situation, if you're living in a personal Shawshank Redemption, I invite you today, at some point today or over the weekend, sit down and think about a plan if you haven't already. But sit down and really think about a plan of escape. What are the steps? What can you do? And I hate to say escape. It sounds so negative. But sometimes that's what reaches you. You know what I mean? So, so sit down with a pen and paper and start thinking of some ways you can get out of your Shawshank Redemption. Because you can get out. It might take a while. It might take weeks. It might take months. It might take years. But you are going to get out. Okay? So what's your plan? What are you going to do? Do you already have a plan? Are you working on it? Or are you just kind of like hoping things are going to change? Every day like, oh, I hope something's different. I mean, that's good. I saw a Tony Robbins quote like, pray like... God has the power to change it, but then act like God isn't going to change anything. Something like that. And I think it's good to believe, and I think it's good to pray, and I think all those things are very important. But I think action is very important, too. It's actually probably just as important, if not maybe a little bit more important. So come up with your plan and get your butt out of your Shawshank Redemption because suffering is vital and necessary to life because it's, it's just part of life. But... If you don't bring wisdom back to regular living, then the suffering, there was no point to the suffering. You know what I mean? I might be taking a break from blog TV for a couple of weeks. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to see how things are laying out as we build up for Transformers because work is getting more and more crazy and I really need my downtime on the weekends. So uh, if you don't see me update my page there with a schedule, that means I'm not going to go live. So Blair Gall, Alien Man, our friend, is going to start a show called Ask the Alien. I have no idea what he's talking about because, you know, he's Blair Gall. And he's just like, ask the alien. So I guess you're going to ask him the alien questions. So make sure you check him out. I'll put links to him in this uh, description field as well. And make sure you guys subscribe to an awesome YouTube channel, The Honest Guys. They're very honest. And I think that they're guys unless they're being deceptive about that. But they're part of the 100-day challenge, 
and they are looking to build their subscriber base and they have a couple days to get 150 subscribers and they're really great and really supportive and if you subscribe to them it's going to make you so happy and you're going to become more honest and maybe even more guy like i think yeah all right you guys have a wonderful week and i'll see you guys all next week all right bye